Welcome back for part two of painting this Ratnik Miniatures Crewman. In this portion, I'll be adding the finer details of the model to give it plenty of character. We last left off with completing the leather bits of the model. From here, I'll go about cleaning up the model with some scale color artist black, and then painting the boots, and then adding any touch-ups around the model as needed. Once the artist black has been put down, I then use some black wash to hit the recesses of the uniform to pop the contrast. From there I take some lighter tones and add highlights on the ridges of the folds of the fabric. To even it out a bit, I come back in with the black wash and blend the highlights with the rest of the uniform. I repeat the process several times to improve the look of the transition from the shadows to the highlights. Having tackled adding contrast with the highlights and the shadows of the uniform, I go about repeating the same process but with the cap. For the cap I actually use some grays with some green hues in them. I do this to add some subtle variance in the black compared to the colors that I use on the uniform. Again, in this case, if the highlights were too stark on the hat, I then went back with some black wash to smooth out the transitions and went back and forth doing this. After the cloth and fabrics are done, I then moved on to painting the metal bits around the model. I started with a darker, dirty metal color and then moved on to a brighter silver color for my highlights.
With the metal parts done, I then began the process of painting the whites of the eyes. For this, I used a warmer off-white color and carefully painted in the whites. I did this in several very light passes then to build up the opacity. Once the whites were established, I created a reddish glaze and hit the lips and then the outlines of the eyes. From there, it was onto the eyebrows. Now came the tricky part, painting the eyeballs. For this, I actually wanted to try something different and actually broke out some archer decals. I took my time and cut the decals out correctly and then soaked them in enough water for a bit. I then prepped the eyes with some VMS decal set and soften and then held my breath while getting the eyes in place. I'll admit this was actually very challenging to do and I messed up a few times. However, the results were very well worth the effort. From here, it was time to bring the base to life by using some mud paste and some resin water. I wanted to create the look of some muddy ground and then even put some mud up on the trousers of the uniform. Then to cap it off, I painted the rim black and then called it a day. Painting a Toontan crewman was actually a lot of fun. The figure was not large, but the details were big enough to have a blast to work on and try different things. Anyways, thanks for watching and be sure to check out the Mitch Toy blog for future articles and videos. Take care and have a great one.